a meme of myself or something with the amount of times I say hey guys in one video but today I'm going to the biggest shopping street in Europe I think it is it's like a street with the most condensed amount of shops in like a one street or something like that and I'm going there because Milan is having their like summer sales so there's a lot of bargains to be found and I'm going to attempt to find a present for Chris which is proving to be quite hard because he doesn't really fit with the European style, you know? I think European style is a little bit too over the top for him. So I'm gonna see what I can find. I'm specifically going to this street because they have like a Zara man. So I'm gonna look in there for some something something. I'm kind of concerned with the amount of makeup I've bought because it's gonna be quite heavy. And I don't know how I'm gonna bring it back to Australia in my 30 kilogram suitcase. But hopefully I'll be fine. I mean like Kiko is having a 50% off sale. What can you do? Anyway, wish me luck because it's a little bit crazy out there. <laughs> to meet my cousin who's actually in Milan for this weekend and we're gonna go grab some lunch. shoot boring ecom which is fine because it was chill but whenever I had to wear the heels oh my god I wanted to die my toes felt like they were gonna fall off because my feet are really wide like at my toes whenever I wear pumps it's like not a fun time but for that shoot I got paid 60 euros so that's just about eight euros an hour love being paid below minimum wage it's really great those kinds of shoots always pay low I think from what I've heard from other people, which is kind of shitty because they're really long and really boring and you don't get paid much here. But it's better than not working and not getting paid, I guess. I feel like the health and well-being of my toes is worth more than that, but that's just me. <laughs> anyway, I'm done now, so I'm just gonna go home and chill out because I didn't really get any sleep last night because I had to wake up at 1 a.m. to sign on to a uni class because obviously time difference. So 9 a.m. in Australia, 1 a.m. here. So I had to get up at 1 and I didn't get to sleep till probably like two or three because I couldn't sleep because my bed is very uncomfortable. And then I had to get up at 7 a.m. to come to this shoot. So I'm gonna have a nap. Hey there, everybody. Feeling like super hyped because I'm going home next weekend. Yay! I mean, like this has been a really great experience, but I've been here for like, what? This is my 10th week now. And it's like super exhausting. Brain droplet. Like getting your castings at like or jobs at 6 p.m. the day before and then realizing you have to get up really early or like you have 10 castings on one day 
it just gets super tiring you know so i'm excited to go back to normal life hopefully i'll still be able to vlog some things when i'm back home it won't be as interesting as this i'm sure but hopefully you guys will still like my vlogs because i actually really enjoy vlogging i always thought i was going to be too awkward at it but i think i'm doing okay i don't know you guys seem to like it so i'm gonna keep doing it if i can it just probably won't be as regular as weekly vlogs because when i go back home i'm gonna go back to uni and work so it's not gonna be the most interesting thing in the world anyway today i'm going to one casting which i don't know why i'm going to this casting because it says the job is for the 31st of july i leave on the 21st of july so i can't do the job but it was a go and see so that means they kind of requested me so i don't want to get in trouble by not going so i'm going there now and then i have to go to the agency quickly and then kai and i are hopefully going to go to the gym unless something pops up like it always does so i will as always take you along with me As I suspected, that casting was a waste of time because the presentation is when I'm not in Milan. They were like, oh, that's such a shame because we really like you, like I've worked with them before. And um, yeah, I'm not gonna be here. So that was a waste of time. But I got a smoothie from Juice Bar. Juice Bar's kind of like overpriced, but like all the models go there because it's like healthy food. So it's a good smoothie. It was like five euro for this tiny little thing, but like I was really craving some like juice. So this is what I got. And anyway, now I'm going to the agency, so let's go. Look at us. What a team. What a team. I love how we just went to the gym and now we're making French toast. We always do this. Oh well. I mean, it's not that but bad. But we went to the gym, so it's fine. Yeah. We did a like, high intensity interval training on the worse. bike. It was the worst thing on. During that, I was like, what the fuck? What are we doing here? Yeah. Why am I doing this? Why it's a good workout. So I'm just having like a super duper lazy day. I don't have anything on today. And so I'm just lying in bed. So I'm going home in 10 days. So next Saturday my flight is, which I am so, so excited about. I'm just so excited to go home and just to like get back to like my normal routine. I mean like I've obviously had such good time here and it's like been such a good experience. I've met some amazing people and everything like that, done some really cool jobs, but I'm just really keen to go back home, go back to uni, go back to normal work, like just to be a normal person again, you know? It's been kind of a little bit annoying because after fashion week, like men's fashion week, which was I think two or three weeks ago, Two weeks ago? I don't know. I can't remember. Like leading up to that from when I got here, which was like start of May till up to fashion week, I was either going to like two, three castings a day at least and would have the occasional, like very occasional day off or I was working. But then as soon as fashion week was over, there's just like not really any castings anymore. I think because obviously like after fashion week, a lot of the brands like, well, we're done now. <laughs> let's go on holiday because the way that like Milan works is that everything kind of shuts down for August and then starts back up in September which is when women's fashion week is so all the modeling agencies all of the brands go on holiday in August so kind of the month of July like the end of June and the month of July is like relatively slow for like castings which has been annoying because like I want the time to go fast so I can go home <laughs> I really want these vlogs to be helpful for any girls or boys that are thinking about coming to Milan to model but don't know what it's going to be like because that's what I was like and I was super scared and I feel like if I had someone's vlogs to watch and knew exactly what it was like then I would be more reassured that everything was going to be okay. I mean, obviously everyone's experience is different. I'm like a more commercial model, some girls are more high fashion. Every experience is different. I know like there's a girl in an apartment like over there that didn't work for like five weeks or something. I don't know if she went home, I, I don't know what happened, but someone told me that she hadn't worked the whole time she'd been here which would kind of suck. I mean, even if you're not a model or, you know, whatever, I guess it's kind of interesting to see, like, what it's like as a model because I feel like a lot of people think it's, like, kind of glamorous when it's, like, really not, unless you're, like, a top model. For us regular folk, it's not very glamorous at all. Like, some parts are, like, when I went on the cruise and everything, but, like, the day-to-day -day castings, 
where we live not glamorous <laughs> anyway that's all from me probably for today i don't know if i'm going anywhere probably not i'm just gonna chill because i mean if i have to work tomorrow i'll be annoyed if i didn't like chill out today anyway i will see you for now oh i just whacked myself <laughs> thanks goodbye <laughs>
thank you, is that all the streets smell like pee. Pee everywhere. So, come to Milan, it smells like pee.